In this video, there's going to be a review on the Lanzi Topsoil and Compost Spreader and also a special discount code can be found in the description below if you're looking to buy one of these or if you're looking to see how the thing works, stay tuned for an in-depth product review on how I used it on my lawn. It's Garden and Lawn Care Guy here and you can see my lawn's right in the middle of a full renovation. I've been working to top dress and overseed my lawn using the Lanzi spreader and some Row Lawn product. For more videos on lawn care, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel and all the links for the products in today's video can be found in the description below. So this is the Lanzi topsoil and compost spreader. It's currently selling really well in the US and it's been recently imported into the UK through Garden Imports Limited who sent me this demo unit to do a trial on my lawn. It's come at the perfect time because I'm just in the middle of a renovation project and I want to see what this thing can do. From the channel stats, we're also getting a lot more European visitors so this is also available to ship to Europe by using the link in the description below. I've got the full results of using the machine, but before I get into that, let me show you how it arrives out the box. The machine itself is 24 inches wide with a 16 inch diameter and it weighs around 10 kilos. It's quite easy to pick up and move around when it's not full of soil and it's uh, actually quite portable given the size of it. When it arrives, there's no assembly needed. It basically comes just in these two pieces. You get the main box unit and then the handle. You'll find the handle inside the unit and you can access it just by unclipping the little hatch where you load the soil in. These things just slide open and the handle drops in there. So this is what you'll get right out of the box with no assembly needed. If we're looking at the professional market um, it's got quite a good accessibility, you can fit it in narrow spaces and you don't have to carry quite a heavy machine around. It's also significantly cheaper than uh, a lot of industrial alternatives and you don't have to worry about any uh, fuels or emissions because it's completely manual. In terms of coverage it holds around 80 litres which is enough to cover 20 to 25 square metres with a couple of mil thick and it's best used with a material screened down to 10 millimeters, although I've used it on material that isn't screened down to that, and it does drag all the key rocks and stones and debris right out of it and leaves you with a, a nice powdered coating. I'd like to show you a bit of a real-time demo of just how easy it is to um, level a little area off with this machine because it applies such a thin layer it's really easy to screed it and brush it right down into the areas that you need it. That board was there because I had uh, a bit of a low spot in that area. I can just run the machine over it backwards and forwards a couple of times. In this spot I'm actually using it to level an area so I'm going to do a couple of rolls just to build up the thickness a little bit. You can see there a couple of passes backwards and forwards and we've got a really nice and thin concentrated area which is screened and it also breaks up some of the um, debris that's in your spreader. I can then just drag the board over that area and I'm going to fill this dint in in no time at all. So with that done, I'll just tread the area in a little bit and then we can brush it and the job's done. It really is that quick and I've just done that in real time and um, this is a real game changer for me. It, to do this manually and, and chuck the soil around, it takes considerably longer. You can see there, it's done a great job of removing all the stones from the soil. 
you do still get a few of the really small stones but all the rest of the debris is completely removed and lives with inside the spreader. So that's that in a couple of minutes. I've just leveled that patch off and it looks absolutely great. Let's have a look at uh, loading the spreader. I made a bit of mistake when I was uh, leveling off the lawn that I put this um, flat spot in at the bottom first, which meant I couldn't bring the barrow onto the lawn. So I'm just um, throwing this soil into the bottom of the spreader. This is actually a super fine and sandy mix you can see here, really crumbly. And I was wondering whether it would actually be contained by the spreader or if it would all drop out. But the spreader will contain even a really dry mix like that. And for me personally, I was actually quite surprised by how well it held this type of material. So after you've put the material inside the spreader, you can just close this uh, hatch. Lock off the two little clips. Number one and number two. And I tried both ways in terms of pushing or um, pulling this. It didn't really have much difference in my opinion on the actual um, finish. It's just a more round preference of how well you can hold it. And you can see here, it creates a really thin and nice layer across the lawn. I was actually doing this in two passes, um, it's optional, you can do one forward or one back or I actually quite like to do uh, one in one way and then crisscross it in the other way just to get maximum coverage. I also found the product that I was using was tending to go a lot further as I was literally just applying this thin layer on top. It was really easy to brush in with a broom and it just disappeared into the grass. This could be a bit to do with the quality of the mix that I've been using from Rolorn as well, but without doubt the spreader does a great job of applying a really thin layer. It's not going to crowd out any of your plants and it's going to help fill in some of those little surface imperfections you're seeing. So here's the lawn around 75% are done. Uh, this little layer is just covering the seeds underneath and I need to finish it off with a couple of last passes. So that's my experience with the Lanzi. I would have to put forward that it's not an absolutely perfect tool and this definitely isn't for everybody. And I will have to give it to this product. It's made this whole process significantly quicker. It just pulls the stones right out of that mixture so it avoids them going on your lawn. And it makes it so simple to just brush in the remaining top dressing because it's such a thin layer. I've been Garden and Lawn Care Guy and if you're interested in garden and lawn care tips, please consider subscribing to my channel and check out some other videos that you might like.